Hey guys, so these readings are where I let the cards pick who they are for. Aries. All right, Aries. Let's find out who you really are. Aries really deep down. Warrior. You have a warrior spirit not afraid to face conflict and challenges while at the same time remaining committed to a path of goodwill and fairness. Warrior. Oh, these all came out. A witch. You have a strong connection to the universe that if developed through study and practice, you can learn to, you can live an empowered life that can bring forth positive change. Teacher, your words have the power to heal, making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you, for your guidance and wisdom to give them strength and direction. Remember, your words have power. Crystal Child, you're here to help uplift the planet of harsh energy, bringing forth healing and peace and also assist humanity in soul growth and evolution. There you go, Aries. You already know this, though. I'm picking that up for you already. You already know your path. You watch tarot readings for confirmation. That's what you do. Yeah. You watch tarot readings for confirmation as in your path. Because you already know your path. You've already had a spiritual awakening. Or a kundalini rising, whatever you want to call it. You've already had one. Yeah, you're a very loyal person, though, Aries, is what I'm getting for you. You've been doing a lot of inner child work on yourself, and you've been growing a lot from within, is what I'm getting for you. Ever since your uh, spiritual awakening, you've been doing a lot of inner work, and it's taken you a while to do it and to learn things, but you have progressively, since your spiritual awakening, been doing the inner work on yourself. And not only have you been doing the inner work on yourself that has been giving you answers from the inside, it's like with you doing this inner work, it's giving you a lot of insight about yourself. You are getting ready to start a new cycle in your life, Aries. And with this new cycle in your life, it's going to bring you um, a lot of options in your life. Spirit don't want you to stay stuck anymore. Spirit don't want you to sit in one position. Spirit wants you to move down the road that is calling you. Spirit wants you to, like, you have been feeling that you have been left like, I want to say, not left out in the cold, 
but I want to say that you have been struggling a lot with this, uh, with this transformation that has been going on within you. And with this, like with you connecting with your higher self, with the union between your masculine and feminine, with you connecting with that, it's bringing you a lot of determination and achievement in your life. And like you have this stubborn streak about you that you don't really know or understand. And I want to say it has to do with equal give and take. You give more than what you get back out of things. And you have to learn to slow down and not give so much to others to where you are completely diminished. Like, you give so much to where you have no energy left. So, yeah, you're, you're going to be taking some quick action to move down the path that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment in for you because you have been taking your time and with you taking your time since you've started your spiritual awakening spirit wants you to get off that path of of contemplation you've been in this contemplative mode for a while and it was like you went through a spiritual awakening really fast and I mean, it hit you like a freight train, the spiritual awakening did. You didn't know what was happening to you. And you've had to do a lot of inner work on yourself in order to catch up with things. And now that you did the inner work, you're starting to understand what happened and why it happened and who you are and what you're here to do now. This says, be gentle with yourself. Take your foot off the gas and don't push yourself so hard. If you need to rest, then take a break. The world won't fall apart if you nap. Renew, dear one. You are a treasure. Be gentle with yourself. Yeah, like... Uh, I want to say you've had a really hard time about what path you're supposed to choose. Is what I'm getting for you. And you have like beat yourself up a lot about this. Don't beat yourself up about it. Because this is the thing. When you least expect it. Spirit will come to you and tell you. So just chill. Relax. Have that confidence within yourself. Knowing that you can do what you're meant here to do. And when you start having that confidence within yourself that you can do what you're meant to do, that's when you'll start. Third chakra, polar or solar plexus, self-confidence. I trust myself fully. I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. I have confidence, belief, and conviction in my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my true ideals and philosophies. I trust in a higher power and I am open to new challenges. All right, Aries. I hope that helped you.